Mission objectives are to extract the child soldier's commander and their captive, the General's number two. This child soldier platoon decided to break away from the Mbeli militants. They took the number two captive and have occupied an abandoned village. Start by checking that location on your map. Boss, the child soldiers will treat you as an enemy, but they're just kids. See that they don't get hurt. Tatekita Namboma, Ntangu Beta Songa Boba into Yaminduki. Hmm. 
That's the target prisoner. He's injured. Looks half starved, too. There's no way he can stand the shock of a Fulton extraction. Get him out by chopper. Another group of child soldiers? No. Must be a squad they had out on patrol. Security will be tighter now. Watch yourself. Boss, another child soldier has entered the village. Must have been out on patrol. Looks like they had more than one patrol out. Security will be tighter now. Watch yourself. Fire! Tell them we took heavy resistance from the renegade platoon and the hostage was killed in the firefight. 
Also, their leader wouldn't let himself be taken alive. I doubt the client will pay us for this one, but we got a big enough reward from the General's number two instead. And as for the number two, he's saying he wants to join Diamond Dogs. I guess he knows what that means for him. He said, if I'm working for you, I can be number two or number 200 for all I care. Boss, we have an emergency. Many of our staff are falling ill. At first it seemed like a common cold, but before we knew it, blisters started popping up on their chests and... Damn it. I'll fill you in at the ACC. Just get in the chopper. Closely. Those are the symptoms of the infection on Mother Base. The blisters on the body were full of tiny worms. Parasite larvae, most likely. But we couldn't find any adults. It doesn't seem to mature in the body, like a sparganum. We don't know the root of infection, or what causes symptoms to develop. Boss, do you remember seeing these symptoms before? The bodies floating around in the oil facility? The bedridden test subjects at the Devil's House? This epidemic looks just like what we've seen on our hunt for Cypher. So this is the weapon of mass destruction Cypher was working on in Africa. Boss, the situation is urgent. We need to quarantine the infected and contain the pathogen. Priority now is to prevent more casualties. But the problem is, how do we tell who's infected? During the incubation period, we have no way of knowing who's clean. You'll have to try and guess who's infected before they go symptomatic and quarantine them. That'd be easy if we just knew the route or vector of the infection. From now on, if you even suspect a staff member's infected, use your iDroid to order them into quarantine. Given the situation, the men won't submit to quarantine just because I or the medical team tell them to. But they will listen to you. Of course, it's just a temporary measure until we find a permanent solution. But at least they'd be in solitary isolation so they won't infect each other, and we get the mental care they need. If we do nothing, we'll only lose more people. We have no choice. Boss, open your eye droid. I'll explain how to quarantine staff members suspected of infection. Go to the mother base menu and select staff management. First, take a look at the quarantine facility we've set up. We'll isolate anyone who's already symptomatic at the quarantine facility. But we have to expect that there are multiple staff who are infected, but asymptomatic. So how do we identify them? At present, we have no way to tell them apart. But there has to be something for us to go on. If you notice anything, reassign staff you suspect are infected to the quarantine facility. We'll monitor them and then contact you if there's a change in their condition. Correctly quarantining these asymptomatic infected will reduce the number of new infections. You should continue with your missions as usual. If Cypher is behind this, going after them should help us determine the root cause of this epidemic. Also, until we identify the pathogen, we can't fire or dispatch any staff. We cannot let this thing spread. Boss, get to the bottom of this fast. We're counting on you. Boss, a new job's come in. It's a hit. I'm the human trafficker who sent Shibani and the others to Nzoya Badiaburu, where you ran into Skullface. The thing is, this guy might know something about the disease that's going around Mother Base. The symptoms are similar to the ones we saw at that factory. Start by checking the mission details on your iDroid. Look closely. 
Those are the symptoms of the infection on Mother Base. The blisters on the body were full of tiny worms. Parasite larvae, most likely. Remember before, boss? When Quiet attacked one of our guys on Mother Base, stuck a knife in his mouth. He's one of the very few soldiers who've had contact with her recently. Close contact. I don't think it's a coincidence that he was among those who became symptomatic pretty early on in this epidemic. Saliva and blood spatter. An open wound. Mucosal infection. Whatever is causing this got inside him then. Miller, that is a baseless accusation. The source of the infection is quiet. Everyone suspects her. We don't know that. And we've come across these symptoms before. The bodies in the water at the oil field facility. Those sick people in the beds at the Devil's House. They're identical to what we've seen while we've been after Cypher. The infection could have come from elsewhere. But at the very least, she does know something. <laughs> it's not like she's gonna talk. No, not through words, anyway. But what about her actions? Quiet held a knife to that soldier back then, before he became symptomatic. There must have been a reason for that. A reason for shoving a knife down the throat of one of our men. What if she's capable of identifying who's infected? What if she was trying to stop the infection but couldn't communicate that to us? The answer to that, the source of the infection, might be in the mouths of the infected. You think there's some kind of clue in their mouths? I don't know. But maybe there's something about the mouths of those who've become symptomatic, something in common. Something their mouths have in common. Forget it. We can't trust her. Even if she can spot the infected, I don't want her help. I understand how you feel, but this is something to go on. Can't you see it's just like I said? Bringing her here was a big mistake. Quiet is gonna be the end of us. Stand down. You've got zero proof. Try to keep an open mind on this, boss. There has to be a way to identify who's infected. Tepe, Eli, what's the matter? Fighting will get you nowhere, Eli. Cut it out, kid. That ain't a toy. Eli. Don't call me that! I'm not a kid. You hear me? Enough. On the battlefield, they use one another's nom de guerre. But here, we insist they use their real names. Well, that hasn't sat too well with Eli. I 
or should I say, Unyoka ya Mbempe. He thinks his boys are letting us grown-ups walk all over him. Thank you. 